In this video, let's introduce Immutable X, which is a competitor to Polygon that is focused solely on NFT scaling. I'm Corey, and on this channel, I help you decode technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. Let's introduce Immutable X's protocol and the problem they want to solve, their network structure, and their IMX token. Make sure to be on the lookout for my follow-up to this video where we will dig into their gas-free marketplace and their partnership with GameStop. As always, I have time codes below in case you want to skip ahead. So if we take a look at the company, Immutable X is an Australia-based infrastructure protocol for trading Ethereum NFTs. And what sets them apart is the instant trade confirmation, their massive ability to scale, and no gas fees without compromising user custody. Immutable X is the result of Immutable's deep NFT knowledge partner with a company called Starkware, which brings cutting edge zero knowledge proof technology into the Immutable X protocol. So what problem is Immutable X seeking to solve? So trading NFTs on the Ethereum network has generally been slow and expensive given gas fees and network congestion. The Ethereum network supports around 150,000 non-fungible token transactions per day using about 30% of the network. Trades can fail, returning assets to owners instead of trading, and the time it takes to process this is inconsistent, sometimes taking upwards of an hour. So this is not only annoying for users who are attempting to trade or buy or sell NFTs, it also causes problems for developers building on the network. Additionally, developers are unable to mint NFTs in a sustainable and cost-effective manner, making it difficult for projects to properly fundraise for expansion and create more NFT content for their users. So let's look at Immutable X's goal. So in order to provide a real-world solution to the current Ethereum scalability problem, Immutable X seeks to support more than 200 million trades per day, all the while consuming less than 30% of Ethereum's network capacity. So if Immutable X can reach this goal, it will make building game applications and exchanges on Ethereum not only economically viable and scalable, but it will make Immutable X the go-to platform for scaling NFT-based games. Imagine, for example, if Grand Theft Auto or Halo was fully decentralized on chain and you could own the NFT real estate in the game and charge rent to be received in tokens that are convertible into ETH or other cryptocurrencies. So how does Immutable X work? Immutable X uses a specific type of ZK rollup technology, which I will dig into shortly. At a high level, a ZK rollup is a scaling technology that allows Immutable X to take thousands of off chain trades, generate a proof that these trades were valid, and then publish that proof on chain where it is verifiable by a smart contract. Okay, so let's dig into ZK rollup specifically. We know that Immutable X combines NFT specific exchange and proof logic with this cutting edge rollup technology, but what exactly does that mean? Immutable X in partnering with Starkware to create one of the most advanced tools for trading NFTs to date, and their specific type of ZK rollup is called a ZK Stark. ZK Stark stands for Zero Knowledge Scalable Transparent Arguments of Knowledge and they're a type of cryptographic proof technology that enables users to share validated data or perform computations with a third party without the data or the computation being revealed to the third party in a publicly verifiable way. This is also known as a zero knowledge proof. A key innovation of the ZK Stark version of the ZK Rollup is that a trusted party or parties are not required to initially set up the ZK proof system. And this is a core criticism of other rollups because those trusted parties could potentially be compromised and this would compromise the privacy of the entire system. In comparison, the competing ZK Rollup approach is the ZK Snark, which stands for the zero knowledge succinct non-interactive argument of knowledge. I know that's a mouthful. And this is a zero knowledge proof protocol used in encryption that relies on the initial trust system setup that has been critiqued as an inherent security flaw. All ZK rollup technology requires an operator. The operator is responsible for putting transactions into a consistent global incremental order with no gaps. In this instance, Immutable X is the operator. Currently, Immutable X's role of technology allows more than 9,000 NFT transfers, trades, and mints per second, meeting and exceeding the scale required by most mainstream NFT projects today. So if we look at connecting Immutable X via the Link UI, 
The linked user interface is the conduit that Immutable X uses to connect users into its protocol. This allows Immutable X to support third-party marketplace ecosystems without a major security risk. So Immutable X currently supports MetaMask and Magic Wallets without requiring users to switch networks. The only requirement is that all Immutable X users register with Link and set up their Layer 2 wallet. From a third-party perspective, Immutable X partners can embed the Link UI directly into their site transaction flow, and this makes user experience in buying and selling NFTs more efficient and intuitive. Because the Link UI screens will show up in the site's transaction flow, users can seamlessly authorize purchases, listings, transfers of ETH and NFTs, all without leaving their user environment. So if we look here next at the IMX token and its economics, Immutable X's token called IMX is an ERC-20 utility token built for the purposes of rewarding pro-network activities on Immutable X, such as trading, providing liquidity, and building applications. Note that this token is technically issued by a separate legal entity called Digital Worlds NFTs, which is the foundation that leads the protocol development. The token aligns incentives between traders, creators, and marketplaces so that all participants can benefit from protocol activity. So when we look closer at the token, you'll see that there are three core uses of IMX. And those uses are fees, staking, and decentralized governance. Let's take a quick look at each use case. So first we have fees. 20% of Immutable's protocol fee must be paid in the IMX token. And to make things simple for users, they can either pay directly in IMX or Immutable will automatically swap the purchase currency for IMX on the open market. And this means users don't have to worry about this process and it's all handled in the background. So next we have staking. IMX tokens received as part of the fee mechanism are sent to the staking rewards pool monthly and this pool is distributed proportionally between all users who are actively staking their IMX tokens on Immutable X. A user's staking reward will be proportional to the amount of IMX they have staked during the month relative to all the other stakers on the network. IMX also requires that token holders have done a few things in order to claim reward. They must have voted on a governance proposal in the last 30 days, hold an NFT on the Immutable X protocol, or have completed a trade in the last 30 days. So next we have here decentralized governance. IMX token holders are able to vote on token related proposals via decentralized governance. Proposals include topics such as how to allocate token reserves, voting on developer grants, active daily rewards, and changes in the token supply. Speaking of supply, let's look at the token economics. There's a maximum supply of 2 billion IMX tokens and at the time of this video, roughly 225 million tokens are circulating, which is about 11% of the total supply. Based on the white paper, 51% of the total token supply is allocated for ecosystem growth, followed by project development and private sales rounding out the top three token allocations. Join me on the path to decoding technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time.